if you follow these experiments, you know, you could start off with a real basic thing and just say, the world that you perceive is not at all what you think it is. Not at all what you think it is. It's, it's like a perceptual hallucination that's entirely based on what you believe. So everything you perceive, whether you like it or you don't like it, is there exactly as you believe it. Precisely as you believe it, with no variation whatsoever. And there is no objective world outside of consciousness. It, all these studies about the planet Earth and, and over time and the centuries and everything, that's all a projection of what is held in consciousness and has absolutely no reality whatsoever. It's like just a pure, delusional, uh, insane projection that has no meaning whatsoever. And what they're calling the quantum field, where everything's abstract and everything's unified, that is what reality is. Everything is absolutely unified. The entanglement studies, the, the particle uh, studies, just the act of observing means these these particles were acting different, you know, behaving like waves, just from the observation of it. So, when they try to, to study the world and find out and draw information based on these experiments to find out what objective reality is, what the scientists discovered was there was no objective reality. That everything that you perceive is entirely subjective. You perceive yourself as a human being with your own opinions, your own preferences, your own likes, your own dislikes. You may like certain things about the world that you perceive and dislike other things. That has no basis in reality whatsoever. Morality, it's all constructed. Ethics, it's all constructed. All the different views of what's good and bad and right and wrong, it's all a construct. It has nothing to do when you get down to the subatomic level and you go down into the unified field, you see that none of that matters and means anything. And the scientists, when you listen to them, they say, now how does this relate to you practically? You're still building, there's bulldozers and big rocks, all this and this and this. Well, Actually, if you believe it, it does seem that way. And when you withdraw your belief from it, you don't see the same world. For many years, people have been saying, no two people see the same world. That's why there's so much conflict. Even among soulmates or best friends, there's always going to be these elements of disagreement that arise. Why? Because there are no two people. It's a projection. All these billions of people, all these billions of, of stars and planets and black holes and the cosmos, everything is a projection of mind that has absolutely no reality whatsoever. It's like, it's like Einstein said, an optical delusion of consciousness. So then you start to take little things, like the, like the little boy there with the basketball, bouncing the basketball, and it shows you at the atomic level that those electrons from the basketball and those electrons from the ground, they never meet. And yet we have a concept called bounce, that is a, a rubber ball rebounding off of a concrete surface that has no reality whatsoever. It's totally a construct. <laughs> Think about it in human relationships. We were talking about Juliet, we were talking about sexuality. How does sexuality apply? Start to take your quantum physics that you just learned in that movie and apply it to sexuality. You know, all this fear of touch, fear of intimacy. We talked about the, the value of massage and different steps and everything. The higher you go in awareness, you start to see that all of sexuality completely collapses. All of interpersonal relationships completely collapse into 
oh, I was completely mistaken about everything I believed. Now, you may ask, for example, let's take like sexuality, how could I be mistaken of every single scrap of information that I believe about sexuality? Is there nothing that I believe about sexuality that's true? Well, what are we learning from quantum? There are no objects. If you took all of the objects out of the universe, including the people, I mean all of them, what, what does that do to your perceptions of sexuality? Or morality, you know, that's some of the things, Thomas was bringing up the thing, like about killing animals. How, why, why is it different of killing animals than it is human beings? And we started to approach that very topic by saying, well, the killing is perceiving a fragmented world, when in fact, it's not fragmented at all. It's totally unified. Everything is completely unified and there's nothing outside of this unified field. Everything is connected. And when you start to, to take sides, when you start to to say, no, I think this part is more valuable than that part, or you get into opinions about what the most valuable parts are, it's absolute insanity. Why? Because none of it's real. You can't study objects in the end because why? Because they're inventions. And so when you try to study any discipline of science, you are often to total hallucination. If you go into religion, you say, well, I'm not going to study science then, I'm just going to study religion. And you start studying all these different theologies about the Creator, who is the Creator of the universe, what name does the Creator have, what, what things are morally good and morally bad. It's all an illusion. Because why? Because everything's completely unified. And all of those theologies are purely illusion. You, you see the implications, this, we're, we've been talking about spirituality for the last three weeks and coming at it, talking about it through, you know, Course in Miracles terms or Christian terms, Buddhist terms, and now, tonight, we've, we've gone from the science realm and science right now, quantum physics is showing that every time you have an opinion about some object, some person, place, thing, event, circumstance or whatever, it is total insanity. There's absolutely no reality to, the, to that opinion or perception whatsoever. <coughs> Practically speaking, as the Beatles said, there's nothing to get huff about, strawberry fields forever, quantum field forever. <laughs> quantum field, it's all connected. Science, I mean that's where the scientists are at now. The, the, the things in Newtonian science, the stuff that we were raised with in our science books, it's going to completely toss it all out the window. <coughs> if we talk about gravity, we were talking about gravity. Gravity is, is a principle, a universal principle that seems to deal with, op, with objects and gravitational fields. We're talking about the gravitational fields of the moon, the pull of the moon and the tides today when we were over. And we were, we were talking about all these different aspects, but what you start to realize that if you realize that the building blocks of whatever you've been believing in aren't really there, and you need not get into a debate or discussion with somebody about which belief system is true, this which, which religion is true, which perspective is true, you know, if you start to get what this movie is pointing at, then, then debate would be pointless. You know, you would be debating which illusion is real. This one, this configuration or that one, or that one or that one. 